Hey everyone, welcome to another Corona tutorial. Today we will take a look at the difference between Corona light, Corona light material and self-illumination in Corona material. So those are uh, kind of three main ways you can make something emit light in Corona, aside from su Corona supporting old native 3ds Max lights. So Corona light we all know where it is, we can find it right here. Corona light material can be found right here in the material editor. And self illumination that is found here in advanced options of Corona materials. So, first of all, let's just take Corona material completely out of the equation and let's just focus on Corona light and on Corona light material. And let's get, go over differences between these two. So, for the comparison, I'm gonna just enable Corona Interactive. And uh, the only only main difference between Corona Light and Corona Light material is that uh, with Corona Light material you can make any any mesh any any kind of geometry you have in your scene you can make it to be light and the the light will always work in the same way that uh, Corona Corona light does so let's just increase intensity to something like 50 and uh, the main difference as I said is uh, while Corona light uses predefined shapes Corona light material can be applied to any geometry but of course the both approaches come with uh, benefits as well as drawbacks so the benefits of Corona Light, Corona Light are, the, are that uh, all these shapes you can see here can be easily expressed by some mathematic equation, some mathematic solution. And that means they are easier to sample. We are sampling just some analytic surface. We are not sampling complete geometry. So while the sphere can be can be expressed with just some mathematical equation. For our geometry, we have to store every triangle and then make them into array and sample that topology. So the first benefit of Corona Light is that these, these shapes are a bit faster. They are not significantly faster than using geometry, but if you have some regular geometric sphere, with Corona Light material applied versus this analytic light source in form of Corona Light, the Corona Light is going to be slightly faster. Another thing, another benefit of Corona Light is obviously you can map it with IES profile, whereas it wouldn't make much sense to map custom geometry, every triangle of custom geometry with some sort of IES profile. So that's another benefit that uh, Corona Light has over Corona Light material. And uh, the benefits of Corona Light material over uh, Corona Light are that, first of all, uh, you can, as I said, map it to any kind of arbitrary geometry. So let's say you have some cove lights around your room, you can you can place it on the geometry of the on the rim around the cove lights and you don't need to place like 20 separate planar lights to do that and another big benefit is that you can map it with opacity which you cannot do for corona corona light so and of course the, the drawback is that as i said sampling uh, sampling of the of the Corona Light material when it's applied on a mesh requires each triangle to be eva evaluated. So the higher poly count there is, the slower will the light be to 
to sample. Uh, but in general, as I said, both of these light, both of these light types, coronal light material as well as coronal light, are pretty much the same with those minor differences that I explained. And there's generally there's not that much difference, and you can use both of them as a key light sources in your scene, and they will perform perfectly. So if I make this one, if I delete this one, make this one really small like this and make the intensity really high and put it further away from our scene, even higher intensity, add a sphere here, you can see it. the sampling is still quite fast and quite optimal. And if I do the same thing with a sphere, tiny sphere, which I place on the place of the light, I delete the light, I assign the light material on it. Again, you can see it samples as efficiently as the corona light itself. So between corona light and corona light material, the differences are just tiny. The major difference between corona light and Corona light material versus corona uh, is versus corona self illumination in corona material. So let's create some self illuminated material. First, let's add a sphere here. Put light material on the on it, and let's create also corona light. It has the crazy intensity we had we had there before. So let's make the radius is just same half a meter and half a meter here as well. And this intensity is 100. Let's make it 50. Let's make this 50 as well. You can already see there's a bit of difference in the illumination, but generally it doesn't appear that one is much noisier than the other. Let's also add teapot here for some sort of comparison. Now you can already see a bit of difference in noise amount, but uh, the difference, the basic difference between light, coronal light and light material is that while coronal light, let's say the ray hits surface somewhere around here, uh, when it samples lights, it will send GI rays and it will send specifically light rays or shadow rays to the light to evaluate corona light or corona light material is in the scene because it knows in advance where the light is and what kind of shape it has. Whereas we're sampling uh, just self illumination that is sampled only by global illumination rays so it will just shoot a ray and uh, shoot a bunch of global illumination rays from the surface it hits and some random of those uh, random few of those global illumination rays will then hit self-illuminated materials and will return the bright color back to the surface. So this is obviously not a much of a problems, problem in such case but let's say let's hide the sphere, take this light and put it really far away from the plane and we can still see how clean this is and how efficiently it's sampled. Now let's hide the light and let's unhide our sphere. Now let's take our sphere and put it further away and increase intensity and you can see how incredibly noisy it is and how slow it is to sample. That is because when we are hitting the surface, we are not specifically sampling for the, for the light. We do not know anything about the light in advance. And we are just randomly shooting the rays in all directions. And, we are, uh, and the corona is hoping to, hit, uh, to have at least a few rays hit this sphere over there. So, 
that is definite drawback and that is why you should never use corona light material uh, corona uh, material itself illumination for any kind of uh, key lighting in your scene it's also important to know that uh, the self illumination loses a lot of intensity due to the max sample intensity solution the max sample intensity claims the rays that are above average of all the all the other rays that that arrive that return values to the sample point so if i turn this off you can see now we are getting the same intensity amount as we would get from the corona light but again you can see it takes tremendous amount of time to resolve that noise so this is obvious drawback to the to usage of corona self illumination but there are not only drawbacks but also benefits to it when we have a corona light itself then for every corona light in the scene corona has to specifically evaluate it so if we have say thousand lights then corona has to with some degree of adaptivity evaluate all thousand lights in the scene and with every new light uh, the scene slows down so if we have lots of just uh, oh, and, and of course if we if we need something of high high poly count to be glowing and we apply corona light material to it then it's also important to keep in mind that uh, high polygonal, high poly, high polycount meshes with corona light material applied will slow down scene as well. Whereas with uh, corona self illumination in corona material, uh, no such thing is happening. So you can apply it to any kind of amount of uh, meshes in the scenes. You can apply it to entire forest or you you can use uh, you can apply to any poly count you want and it will always uh, be quick because it's sampled by global illumination there is no difference between global illumination hitting let's say red teapot and making red color bleed versus hitting self illuminated teapot and returning illumination so um, if you need just uh, some dim light sources some like something glowing that's not necessarily significantly illuminating your scene you should always use self illumination because uh, it, it doesn't come at any cost so this is this is the theoretical explanation of the of the difference between the two and in the next part of this tutorial i will show you how to put this theory into practice so see you then